uh, I wanted to show you the, the top of uh, the gasifier here so you flash can see the job that I did with the sealing of the of the flange and the and the barrel top. As you can see this is sealed very very well and, uh, and you can also see that uh, the flange here was made using a uh, plasma cutter, XY table plasma cutter that cut this ring out uh, that I was able to bolt to the top of the, uh, the barrel lid and it, that worked out marvelous. Um, anyway again this is all good automation thanks flash 001 USA. okay this is so this is one of the improvements that I have done here you can see I've got a little bit of the red uh, RTV uh, sealing the joint here uh, where I've actually used I cut some of this in half and uh, put it in there for the, the lid seal uh, that should improve the lid seal from what it was. This is this stuff's good for 2200 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, you can see I got a really nice seal all the way around here. If if this did doesn't seal, I guess uh, I need to give up because I I don't know how to do a better one. Okay, so that's the first improvement that I've done. Okay, so this is the second improvement of that I've done on the gasifier. I uh, put some gasket material on the surface of the the barrel that makes the the surface of the the door. So if there's any gaps it will be filled up by that foam and, and seal so I'm pretty sure that uh, this will work to, to seal the door <clears throat> so I kind of hit this with a hammer, soft hammer, to uh, bend it into a shape that uh, matches the barrel the best I can. Um, uh, that should seal it up. Uh, there's enough pressure on that and there's enough foam between to uh, uh, give you a, 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 a fair, fairly good seal. I wouldn't expect that that would le leak very much at all. Okay, so the next order of operation is trying to figure out how to, to seal this up and make it removable for that uh, uh, ignition port that ties into this fitting here. So it has to be able to be bolted to the, the barrel at the same time be uh, uh, screwed into this fitting here. So uh, that's the next order of operation. Okay, so I've got this port here uh, set up so that I can bolt it in, I can screw it in, I can screw it into the assembly to a certain point and then and then uh, fold it in. I've got some uh, nuts that are uh, that are uh, welded onto the back side. So all I have to do is tighten these down, put a gasket between and tighten this down. It should, should work pretty well. That one's a little tight but it'll it'll work but anyways so that's uh, the solution there 
So I got most of the things that I needed to repair on this thing done today. Uh, anyway, this is all good automation.